Hi everybody, I'm back with another project for the ScrapFX design team. Today I'm going to be working on one using my black square dilutions journal. So I'm going to be playing with the uh, wordy peeps transparency and you can see I'm just sort of working out where it's going to go and whether it's going to fit and I'm going to actually cut some off this first page. So I'm just working out how much and then going straight in and cutting it off. So then I've got this little heart punch and I'm just punching out a border down the page that I've just made smaller um, just to create a bit of extra interest really. It's not something I've thought about doing before and then I suddenly I was thinking I could get my knife out and do some cutting, a bit of a cut out and I thought oh no it was a quick way, just get a punch. So I think that's quite effective. So next I've, there is no gesso on this page but I guess if you wanted to you could use some clear gesso or black gesso. Um, and then I'm just going in straight away and using a bubblegum pink peony blush. I'm also going to use squeezed orange and lemon zest. And I'm just doing a kind of ombre effect going down the page, um, not worrying about covering all of the background. Um, so I quite like some of the black to show through. Then I'm using this uh, loopy script stencil from ScrapFX and I'm just um, going along the edges and just adding some stenciling in just a little bit, just down that left hand edge. And then I'm going to um, glue this wordy peeps, the first one in, I'm just using a bit of PVA glue, because obviously that dries clear, so you won't see that once it's dry. So that's the first page sorted. And then I'm going to kind of repeat the process on the second page. So again, using the same colors, Bubble, bubble gum pink, <laughs> nearly said that wrong, peony blush, squeezed orange and lemon zest and again just creating that sort of slight ombre effect going down the page. My brush is quite dry so even though I'm washing it in between colours I am just dabbing it off on a piece of kitchen roll, kitchen paper um, before I'm using the next colour because I wanted to keep the, the vibrancy of the colour and not sort of wash it and water it down so that it's really colourful and again just doing the same thing with the loopy script stencil just adding a little bit of stenciling down that side of the page and then I'm just going to grab another of the wordy peeps and stick it on this page as well I'm just cutting it out slightly off cam camera there sorry didn't realise that I'd left that bit in Okay, so then again just gluing this in using some PVA glue. And then on this right hand page I'm using the same colours, so this one is the bubblegum pink. And I'm just adding three areas of colour to that page. Now it's funny, now when, I, I edit, when I've edited this video and gone back and looked at it, I don't really know why I didn't just bring those colours across from the left hand page when I first did it. Um, but when I'm art journaling I, just, I do tend to go with the flow really, I don't often set out with a, a plan. I know kind of what I vaguely want to do but I don't often set out with I'm going to have it looking exactly like this so when you come back with a bit of hindsight it's interesting isn't it because you can think oh I maybe should have done it a little bit differently but I was really pleased with the end result um, and I think it, it worked quite well so yeah I don't know if I do a page like this again maybe I will use the experience from this time and do both pages at the same time so then I'm just using this white Posca pen after I added some stenciling, again using black onto that right hand page using the loopy script stencil. I'm just doing some mark making using the Posca pen and a white gel pen. You know that I love using these dots. I, am, I love the effect that it creates on the page. It's something that you know that I use quite a lot. So then I've added a white border to this right hand page and um, all I used was the Dilusions white linen paint. I put a couple of coats on and then using this black Posca pen 
I've um, just gone in and added a, a border pattern. I felt that I wanted to add a bit of white into the page and when I put the border on it was too much <laughs> so I uh, that was why I ended up doing this pattern around the edge. I'm not trying to keep the shapes regular and different sizes. I quite like that sort of slightly quirky look. And then again, I'm just using some more mark making on that left hand cut out page. This kind of helps to bring the pages together, I think. And then I've just got part of a wordy peeps down there and I've just stuck it into that right hand corner. I've actually cut the legs off that one because I wanted it to be just small down there. And then I had this idea of using a speech bubble on this page and I thought I might do it in white but kind of felt that was too much. It didn't really work with the rest of the page. So then I decided that I would paint it in using black. So that's what I did. And then once it was dry, I'm just using the gel pen and just doing like a scribbly outline around the edge. And then I've just primed one of my Posca pens and you can see I wet it with a brush that had some black in and it went awful colour. So starting again, just adding some pink splatters onto that uh, background. And then I was cleaning up all the splatters. I wondered what I was doing there, but sometimes it just goes everywhere. I just no, there's no predicting it. So I looked up and it was all up the wall. It was it was crazy. It had literally gone everywhere. And then I'm using a really nice bright white Posca pen and just adding my quote into the speech bubble. Worked quite well with the uh, the figure and the speech bubble that I'd added. The quote was perfect. And then just a final bit more detail adding onto that border and you can see this is these wordy peeps are great I love um, they work so well on a colorful page on a monochrome page they're just fantastic um, and quite a strong image and they are one of my favorites so then I am also outlining the hearts just using that white Posca pen again I'm going to do that front and back And there we go there's the finished page so it's quite a bright colorful page in the end but it's a really effective way to use those wordy peeps on an art journal page so thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you again soon